Are those guns drawn? I don't, I can't see from this photo. Fuck it, I'm saying it. I'm sure they'll just fucking simply tear gas the entire building. Was there widespread support on campus in 68 for the protest? I think there was more widespread support than there is now. It's a very different situation. It's what? Very no, it's not. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Everyone loves Israel. I'm getting reports from Teddy now that uh, there may be an unconscious student in front of Hamilton. Do you have any further confirmation of that, Teddy? Yeah, I, I have a view of video from uh, someone in Harley looking down onto 90%. Hamilton. And yes, there's an unconscious student on the ground. Of they the have Barnard removed, student uh, body most voted of the debris, for divestment from Israel. Side, and there's an unconscious student Over on the side the on the ground. Over half of the student body participated in the election. We have also heard that um, there is tear gas, unclear if that is just inside Hamilton Hall. Um, or if that is outside as well. Of a They're going point. in with chainsaws. Move the media away from the the courtyard, specifically so they move the media away from the courtyard, specifically so they could start packing up the students and violently brutalizing them without actual footage coming out of it. Except the difference is, even if you turn off your fucking body camera and you brutalize a student on, in the middle of a fucking college campus, there's going to be 7,000 different cameras directly on you. Everybody has phones, dumb fuck. The problem, however, is that the media is also complicit in the suppression of this kind of footage coming out. Many in the media, mainstream media, for the past week or so, has been demanding that this kind of action be taken instantly. Oh, liberals, reactionary fascists alike, have been fucking demanding. 26 Democrats personally asked for this to happen. Liberals will turn around and offer some sympathy. Fox News will go and say they get what they deserved. Bill Maher will say that they're narcissistic. All of this could have easily been avoided with the university doing what Brown did, which is meet the demands of the student protesters. They were far too invested in maintaining their big donors in an effort to do so, in an effort to ensure that Robert Kraft isn't fucking upset with the university, they listened to the demands of Robert Kraft in between his rub and tug sessions and sick the rabid dogs of the state on the students. So tell me who fucking terrorized this college campus tonight? The motherfucking NYPD. Who do you think is a bigger threat to the student population here? This won't stop the encampment and it won't stop the protest. It will only solidify the organizers' support and give them good reason to take more precaution to defend it next time. Oh, 100%. Incredible, incredible sights, dude. And then liberals talk about Tiananmen Square. Police are entering the John Jay Gates. So you can see lots and lots of NYPD entering campus there at John Jay Gates. Columbia University gave them the go-ahead at 6 p.m. Pacific time. They piled up around Columbia. They blockaded all the fucking streets surrounding Columbia University. And at 6 p.m. Pacific time, the university administration, without getting any kind of confirmation from anyone else, no faculty, turned around and the sent the protest, uh, sent the police. The I'm getting, I'm getting videos from students. I'm getting videos from students on campus. Uh, they're I compiling as much uh, video footage as they possibly can and sending it over so we can take a look at it on stream. There's unfortunately not a lot of on-the-ground reporting occurring as a consequence of the NYPD's brutal tactics of media suppression. They literally packed up the legal observers, the medics, all of the fucking student organizers, specifically so that no one could witness the brutality. But when they open the door... All right, they're all going in. Cops are going in. Oh my goodness. That's like 50 cops going in. Apparently, there are reports that a medic was being denied. Medic is being denied seeing an unconscious student barricaded in John Jay Hall. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you understand? You were probably sitting in that bus just chewing on your baton, right? Just waiting. Uh, there's an unconscious student barricaded in John Jay Hall. Police After locking campus. medics into John Jay, oh, NYPD at Columbia especially. pushed three students down the stairs yeah, and dragged out one passed out student. Out tonight, NYPD will be allowed to have permanent presence on Columbia's campus for the rest NYPD of the year. NYPD permanent um, presence on campus. Oh my God. Looks peaceful, bro. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so. You know, it's um, it's not peaceful. Um, You're right. Yeah. Only because of the fucking cops, dumb fuck. What do you mean looks peaceful? Yeah, it was peaceful. It's always peaceful until the fucking cops come. God, 
the the fucking police boot must taste good, dude. NPC ass bitch. Martial law on fucking 18 year olds protesting against the genocide? Suck my dick. From the vantage point of John Jay, where students and press have been barricaded into the building. At the admissions office entrance of Hamilton, officers pushed protesters to the ground and slammed them with the barricades. One protester lay on the ground, unmoving as police officers stood over them. Yeah. This is what it looked like before the cops entered, by the way. Did the student's occupation inside the building have a trigger of some sort? Did it just randomly happen after a while? No, it was triggered by something. Yesterday, Columbia University, in the midst of the negotiations, decided to arbitrarily say, all right, no more negotiations. If you're still here by this arbitrary time that we have designated, you're going to get fucking arrested and you're going to be suspended. They started suspending students arbitrarily. Students that were in class that were suspected of ha harboring pro-Palestinian sentiment and they got fucking suspended while they were in class. Obviously, college students did exactly what they've done in, in the past as well. They took over Hamilton Hall in an effort to defend themselves against the <laughs> potential onslaught and to continue demonstrating. The irony, of course, is that despite the fact that these fucking dipshits came in, it most likely will not stop students from protesting. Where's the ACLU and all this? There's, they're nowhere. There's nothing. The National Guild of Lawyers is supposed to be there. You know what happened to them? The NYPD fucking packed them into a, a to John J. Hall. They kicked them out. Look at the way the media is covering it. Police breach occupied building at Columbia removed students from campus. Democracy dies in the darkness, by the way. They're just removing students from campus. They're, they're just moving them from point A to point B. Seriously, though, like, come on. They did do illegal things like civil disobedience is great, but that ain't very civil. Yeah, you're right, dude. It's actually way more dangerous to occupy campus space as students. Um, and, and certainly not an infinitely more dangerous precedent being set by the university for arbitrarily suspending students, sending the fucking militant dogs to, to violently arrest them and apprehend them. What's a, what's a better precedent? Who is the power player here? Or do you just always capitulate the power unconditionally? Man, think about the optics, I say, as I watch the Gestapo brutalize 18-year-old fucking anti-genocide protesters. Think of the optics as I watch fascist military psychopaths beat the shit out of students protesting against their participation, their unwilling participation in genocide. All right, bro, I appreciate the point. I just think there's a better way to go about it. Why don't you fucking do it then? You're just here to fucking chirp. You don't want to do shit. Bro, here's how you know this is dumb as fuck. People complained about the broken glass in order to enter Hamilton Hall. The cops beat the shit out of students. Who's done more material harm to the university now? And it cost a couple million easy in overtime alone just to do that.